Yeah, what up YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, back at you with another Forza Horizon 2 video, man. Now, some of you guys may know that in Horizon 2, there is in fact no Challenger Hellcat. So what I'm going to do today is hey, just show you guys how you can change can this Challenger SRT8 392 to basically replicate the Hellcat, look like it, and have 707 horsepower. Um, for some crazy insane fucking drag races so basically what you're going to want to do first and foremost jump in here and search up hellcat now you're going to notice that a bunch of different skins come up now depending on what color you are looking for you can uh, pick a different one but i'm looking specifically for a white skin now as you can see there's a whole bunch of different um skins and stuff like that that you can look up now i'm not a hundred percent sure how many different oh this one actually has the hellcat logo that's pretty cool um i'm not 100 percent sure how many different um color combinations you can in fact get with the hellcat but i'm looking for white specifically uh just because that seems to be pretty popular now let's see don't really like the wheel wells on that one that's looking about where we want to be right there. So we're going to go ahead, buy this skin up, and uh, we're going to show you guys how to replicate a Hellcat build. Now, I already did a mock-up of this um, offline and off-camera just so I have an idea of exactly what needs to get done. Uh, so what we're going to do is jump up into the upgrade shop and do custom upgrades. Now, a lot of you guys probably already know that there is a twin screw supercharger on the uh, Hellcat, but what I'm going to do for this build basically is just put on the centrifugal supercharger now that is our only option for superchargers for this car uh, so we're going to go ahead and put that on now some of you guys may also know engine swap wise that um the hellcat is a 6.2 liter unfortunately our 392 is a 6.4 there's no way to downgrade the engine so we're just going to go ahead and leave that the way it is now cosmetic wise um some of the options here not really going to work for our build but the hellcat does in fact have a different hood and as you guys saw a little badge on the side there but we're not too worried about that um the hood just has a center scoop and allows better cooling for the engine and stuff like that so we're not going to worry about that today but we're going to jump into the tires and because this is going to have a lot of horsepower we are going to want to go ahead and put on the race tire compound now this is going to give us a lot of grip make sure that when we do get those power upgrades you know that we're sticking to the ground so i'm going to go ahead and upgrade the width as well obviously for more grip now wheel wise um i found a wheel that looks almost identical to the Hellcat wheel and that is the CXRs. If you guys Google Hellcat wheel, you'll notice that it has kind of a weird pattern um, on the spokes and I find that this one like replicates it very well. So I'm gonna go ahead, throw that on there and the Hellcat does come with stock 20 inch wheels. So I'm gonna go ahead, leave the wheel diameter alone. Uh, Drivetrain wise, we are going to go ahead and put on a race clutch and this uh this srt 392 comes with a stock five speed so what i'm going to go ahead and do is uh put a race transmission because the hellcat comes with a viper six speed and this race transmission will give us one extra gear which will bring us that much closer to the hellcat so we're going to go ahead and back up on out of here and then we're going to throw on a uh, race drive line uh, no, I'll stop. let's leave the driveline stock for now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and for sure put on a race differential, and uh, we're going to back on out of here. Now, as far as brakes goes, obviously the Hellcat brakes are going to be upgraded, so we're going to go ahead, put on some race brakes, and we are going to slam it down. Oh, not rallies. Down on the race springs just because, you know, everything on the Hellcat, suspension-wise, brake-wise, definitely upgraded definitely want to throw on those anti-roll bars front and back uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that right now and then we are going to get into the engine upgrades now here's where the you know this is where the fine tuning is going to come in to make this thing uh really look exactly like a hellcat so first and foremost what we're going to want to do is go ahead and throw on a race intake uh, just for better flow and then as far as fuel system goes we're just going to go and put sport fuel system and sport ignition on here 
Now keep in mind, this is all just to replicate that 707 horsepower. Now I'm in, uh, I have my uh, speedo set to kilometers an hour, so mine is gonna read in kilowatts. We're looking for 527 kilowatts, which is gonna give us that 707 horsepower. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and put on a race exhaust. Um, cams, we're gonna leave because uh, you know the cams are stock. I'm pretty sure that it's just regular cams that are in the Hellcat. Um, however, it does have upgraded race valves. Um, definitely gonna have an upgraded engine block, all aluminum, uh, you know, just gotta have the, the upgraded pistons and compression. Uh, you guys can read up all about the Hellcat. I'm sure some of you guys are already very familiar with it. And obviously we're gonna upgrade our supercharger and all of our cooling, intercooler, and then we're gonna back up, obviously upgrade the oil and cooling to race, and we are gonna go ahead and leave our flywheel stock. So if you go in here, you're gonna notice that we have our 527 kilowatts of power, and uh, things are looking good. Uh, we're topped out at our S1 class, which is gonna make this great for drag racing. It's gonna be competitive with all of the S1 cars uh, that are out there. So what we're gonna do is back it on up, and um, actually, you know what? We're gonna drop a little bit. We're gonna tune this thing slightly, uh, just because we're gonna check out our gearing. Look at that, topping out at 347 kilometers an hour which is going to be fantastic uh, we're going to go ahead and drop this thing to the ground and i also want to stiffen up the springs just to make sure that this thing is super rigid um, when it's cornering and stuff like that so we're going to go ahead and do that up right now and we are going to exit this take it for a little rip and maybe take a couple of pictures man so you guys let me know what you think of this build let me know if this is something that you're going to be doing in uh, forza um if it is you know let me know how accurate this build was and how you guys liked it but as you guys can see uh this thing pretty much is looking like a hellcat now and uh, we're gonna jump inside here nice and modest Let's take it for a rip, shall we? So obviously what I'm gonna wanna do, take this thing down to the highway and top this bad boy out, man. It is definitely powerful. Lots of grip in the rear wheels. Just me and this Knight Rider guy up in here. I don't like the sounds of that. Oh, that tunnel pull. So what we're gonna do here, let's uh... Ooh. Once we're away from that crowd, you can hear that supercharger at idle. That exhaust sounds mean, man. Uh, so let's do a little bit of a highway launch here. See what 707 horsepower feels like in a Challenger. What a beast, man. Uh, these Hellcats run uh, stock 3.4 seconds, uh, 0 to 100 kilometers an hour, which is 0 to 60, and um, run the quarter mile in about 10 seconds. Uh, so what we're gonna have to do is uh, take this thing to the airfield, I think. See if we can beat some fools. But man, this thing is running strong, like very, very strong right now. Woo! That stiff suspension, man. Sometimes it's a little too stiff. Oh, watch out for the wall! Woo-wee! This thing is a beast, man. Now, I know that it is not a genuine Hellcat, um, but I gotta say, this is gonna be probably the next best thing. Um, now, there is a Hellcat in Forza 6. 
Um, but unfortunately, I am not as much of a fan of Forza 6 as I am uh, for Forza Horizon 2, man. Like, Forza Horizon 2, just the fact that, you know, the free roam aspect of it. Please hold. Being able to just drive around wherever you want, race your friends and stuff like that without having to be on a closed course, to me, is just the ultimate driving game, man. Like, I just, I can't get enough of this game. Uh, so what we're going to do is just pull off here, down, find ourselves somewhere nice and scenic to pull over. Oh, look out. Oh, ho, ho. taking out the competition. Um, and we're going to probably put an end to this build video. Oh, sorry, bud. Sorry, bud. Uh, oh, batteries are low. We're going to go ahead and deal with that. So you guys let me know what you thought of this video, man. If it was helpful, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, where the fuck is the photo mode, man? That photo mode. Oh, I guess there is no photo mode when you're offline. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and do a little bit of a circle around here. Um, once again, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Um, it's your boy, Don Squally. I enjoy doing these videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button for me. And, um... I don't know, man. I guess that's about it. We're going to go ahead and find a session where we can do some drag races. So with that being said, I just want to say thanks for watching. And we're going to catch you mofos at the next one. Man. Right, we got a couple takers here. GTR and the Bugatti. So this should be a good drag race, man. That GTR. I think we're going to get taken on the top end. But uh, shit, let's see how this... Let's see how this... 707 horsepower Hellcat will do what, and it looks like a stock GTR, I'll give him that. They definitely got me on the launch. Oh, that Hellcat, that Hellcat. Oh, getting that GTR in the top end. There it is. Hellcat build. GTR Slayer, baby. Damn, that's what it's all about right there. I was completely wrong, man. Those guys had me on the front end, but near the end, the Hellcat prevailed. So there you go. Tried, tested, and true. Ladies and gentlemen, this thing is a goddamn beast. And just listen. Just listen to that supercharger, man. This thing is a monster. I'm about to go have some fun with this, man. I'm about to join up with my cousin here, Wheels. And uh, we're going to call this a video, man. So uh, with that being said, I guess this is the real end of this video. We're going to catch you, mofos, at the next one, man. Peace.